Hi everybody, it's Alex John. Uh, yeah, I've received a few comments about my face. And uh, I want to say this. My face is always underneath the beard anyway. So, uh, nothing wrong with it. I am going to grow the beard back, but I need a few more days of moisturizing. Uh, so let's, uh, well, what I, uh, the real reason for this video is uh, uh, a quick review, uh, as quick as I can make it, of the uh, Republican presidential debate. So here it goes. Uh, first of all, they all start off with lots of platitudes about creating jobs and getting the economy going again, but no plan. And I gotta tell you this guys, tax cuts for the rich is not a plan. We've had tax cuts for the rich for some time now. It hasn't worked. Newt Gingrich told the first lie of the night calling what's happening now the Obama Depression. Uh, we are coming out of the Republican recession. Republicans were in office, Republicans were supposed to be regulating the banks and they didn't do it and that's what caused the recession. If you're going to give us something, own it! Herman Cain was the first one to call for more tax cuts for the rich. We all know how well that's working. They want to put the economy in the toilet? Give the rich more money. Tim Pawlenty called for getting rid of regulation. Uh, I hate to tell you this, Tim, but uh, in case you weren't paying attention, it was lack of regulation that caused this recession that we're trying to get out of. Right? Remember, Bush, you guys were in office. You voted all those deregulation things and let the banks just do what they wanted and it caused a disaster. You, you, you voted for that. You were in the, in the Congress at that time. Uh, so, yeah. And, and, uh, let, let, here's a little idea for you. Why don't you go down to the Gulf and ask the people who make their living through fishing if they want the oil industry deregulated. Why don't you ask the people who make their living by uh, having tourists come to the beach if they want the oil industry deregulated. I don't think uh, you'll like the answer. And while we're at it, they want to deregulate the banks again too. Look, why don't you go and ask the people that lost their jobs and their houses and their life savings if they don't wish that you Republicans had done a better job regulating the banks. They just want to bring things back to where they were before. Yeah, we're all going to be better off if they do that, aren't we? Oh, uh, Tim Pawlenty chickened out, had Mitt Romney right next to him was invited to go after him and wouldn't. I uh, hate to tell you this, Tim, but the American public is not going to vote for no chicken shit. Oh, and they all talked about right to work legislation and sung the praises of right to work states. Okay, well, if you work in a right to work state, you make 6.5 to 7 percent less than if you work in a union state. So uh, you want a tax, you want a pay cut to go with your tax cuts for the rich? Vote Republican. Uh, still insisting that uh, uh, bailing out the auto industry was wrong. I guess they just don't like American cars. So if you work in the auto industry or in any industry related to it here in the States, uh, vote Republican, lose your job. Uh, Mitt Romney wants to get rid of FEMA, which would be about the same as having the Bush administration run it. 
You notice that since Obama's been running FEMA, even though we've had some real nasty natural disasters, there are no FEMA uh, horror stories? Think about it. At least Ron Paul briefly mentioned getting rid of corporate welfare. Yay. Funny how the Republicans always talk about deficits when they're talking about Medicare and Social Security, but never when they're talking about tax cuts for the rich. It's like they're schizophrenic. So, I guess if you like crazy, vote Republican. Mitt Romney announced the score of the Bruins and Canucks hockey game, and he did not waffle or flip-flop. Uh, as far as gay marriage goes, Ron Paul says, let the churches decide. You know, I don't agree with Ron Paul on a lot of things, but I do love him. I do. Uh, I wouldn't vote for him for president, but I love him. Uh, just about all the Republicans would end a woman's right to choose. Tim Pawlenty talked about how he sent the National Guard to the border. He didn't mention it was the Canadian border. Uh, Santorum talked about Obama turning his backs on our allies. Funny, our allies seem to like us a lot better with Obama in office than they did when Bush was in office. Uh, uh, except for probably Benjamin Netanyahu, who, who is doing his best to make the situation between the Israelis and the Arabs worse, and making a, a, a permanent peace there impossible. So I don't even count him. And last, uh, even though there were a few more minutes in the debate, the, the, the last thing that happened, um, Paul Lenti says that Sarah Palin is qualified to be president, proving that he is not. I'm Honest John. Thanks for listening. Good night.